second year MPH student at the Dalwana School of Public Health. And I'm taking over the Dalwana's Instagram today to give you a sneak peek of what my life is like as a public health student. Um, I'm in the final semester of my degree. So we're gonna be starting here in Ottawa where it's currently 5.30 a.m. And I'm gonna show you what my day is like as a junior policy analyst at the Office of International Affairs for the Health Portfolio. And then you're gonna be with me for two days actually. And tomorrow I'm heading back to Toronto uh, to do a little bit of coursework as part of um, the last bit of my degree. So stick with me, hopefully this is a lot of fun. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you folks later. Hi everyone, so I'm here at the Public Health Agency of Canada building uh, to start my day uh, as a junior policy analyst at the Office of International Affairs for the Health Portfolio. Um, administratively, uh, we're based here at uh, PHAC or FAC, um, but we work across uh, the federal health portfolio, which includes Health Canada, uh, Public Health Agency of Canada, Canadian Institutes for Health Research, uh, Food Inspection Agency, uh, Patented Medicine Prices uh, Review Board as well. So I'm gonna get my day started. est une chute d'eau qui se trouve au Vésinique, les Nouvelles. Cette chute se distingue comme étant A. La chute la plus large B. La chute la plus haute C. La chute la plus petite D. La chute la plus... Hi everyone, um, I'm here with Marley Mello. She's an analyst here at Bestie at the OIA. Um, she does some amazing work in mental health. Um, and so given the diverse amount of work that's happening as part of the bilateral team, and you, um, you folks are getting a really good uh, sneak peek into that, I thought it great for us to have a one-on-one -on -one chat uh, so you can hear a little bit more about what she does. And so Marley, if you could introduce yourself, your position and team and, and kind of the work that you do, that'd be great. Hi, um, thank you so much uh, for talking with me. Um, so I am a policy analyst within the Bilateral Engagement Summits and Trade Division. My team works on advancing the Minister's International Priority on Mental Health and we are also the Secretariat for an initiative that she launched uh, last year with her counterparts in the UK and Australia uh, called the Alliance of Champions for Mental Health and Wellbeing. Uh, I have actually been a policy analyst within the Office of International Affairs for two years now. Um, and I've had the privilege and opportunity to work on a variety of files. Uh, this has included Canada's engagement on health in the G7 and the G20 and the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation. Last year, uh, I had a unique opportunity to do a temporary assignment in Geneva, specifically within Canada's uh, mission to the United Nations. And I got to work with colleagues in our Foreign Affairs Department, uh, Global Affairs Canada, um, to sort of support the health portfolio's engagement uh, for the World Health Assembly in May last year. So that was a very unique opportunity, um, and it taught me a lot about global health diplomacy. Um, so working in uh, OIA has taught me many things. Uh, I would say that the biggest thing it's taught me is how Canada works with other countries and multilateral institutions to advance work on public health issues and that has been very interesting. Awesome. Thank you so much, Marley, and hopefully that gives everyone tuning in a nice sneak peek into some of the amazing work that happens here at OIA. Been very interesting. Awesome. Thank you so much, Marley, and hopefully that gives everyone tuning in a nice sneak peek into some of the amazing work that happens here at OIA. The Office of International Affairs. And also shout out to Amanda and Walid, who are also on the team and aren't here today. The Office of International Affairs. And also shout out to Amanda and Walid, who are also on the team and aren't here today. Uh, so I'm here with Sarah Lawley, uh, Director General of the Office of International Affairs for the Health Portfolio. Um, Sarah, thanks so much for taking a moment out My of your pleasure. day. Um, so I was wondering if you'd be able to tell our viewers, um, uh, young professionals, prospective students, uh, what OIA is all about sure. and uh, how we facilitate Canada's role in global health. Okay, so um, I would say the best way to describe this is the Office of International Affairs for the Health Portfolio represents Canada's domestic interests in global health. 
So we work very closely with our colleagues at Foreign Affairs on geopolitical, very closely with our colleagues at Foreign Affairs on geopolitical issues, on development issues, but at the heart of it, our role and our function is to represent the agency and Health Canada um, to support the work of CFI and CIHR and the last uh, portfolio organization, the Patented Medicines Review Board, in making sure that what's happening in the global governance related to global health is at the, I guess, the the best interest of Canadians. So the mandate of these domestic health organizations is to protect and promote the health of Canadians. So every time we enter into negotiation, our so what is what's the impact this is going to be on the ground. Um, our development colleagues are focused on what's the impact on the ground in other countries um, in terms of building you know, you know, the global good vis-a-vis um, -vis global health. But for us, it's really a domestic focus. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're Hopefully that's welcome. some great insight for the students that are tuning in today. Well, and maybe one thing that I can say for the students that are tuning in today is that um, we do global health diplomacy. Uh, just as much as our colleagues over at Foreign Affairs do, just as much as our colleagues in, in development do. So we represent Canada at global governance body meetings. I was the um, executive for Canada for the World Health Organization. We do the same thing for the Pan American Health Organization. We really are front and center in all G7 and G20 negotiations. So as you're looking at your career and your options, do consider that line departments uh, such as ourselves do have um, a fairly significant international footprint. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rachel Kirkland. I'm a second year MPH student at the Dalana School of Public Health. And this is day two of my Instagram takeover of the Dalana's accounts um, to show you a day in the life of a public health student as I finish the last semester of my degree. Um, thanks so much if you joined me yesterday uh, where I showed you what my day looks like as a junior policy analyst at the Office of International Affairs for the Health Portfolio. Hopefully that provided you with a fun sneak peek. Um, and then I took a train in last night uh, to come back to Toronto. I got in around 11.30 uh, p.m. And uh, I'll be taking care of some of my outstanding course requirements today, as well as the Certificate in Health Impact, which is a journalism fellowship that I'm completing alongside my degree. Uh, so stick with me, and uh, hopefully we'll have a lot of fun again today, too. Talk to you later. So I just got onto campus and I'm about to head into my first meeting of the day. This is part of the Certificate in Health Impact, which is a fellowship in journalism that I'm doing as part of, um, on the side of my degree actually. Uh, it's a pilot program being run between the Monk School of Global Affairs, Dalla School of Public Health, and the Faculty of Medicine. Um, the idea is to teach um, public health and health professionals some key journalism skills so that we can help uh, deepen the public debate and, and, and further understanding about uh, core public health issues. Um, so this is my bureau meeting about to meet with my bureau chiefs, uh, Rob, Bruce, and Colin, and uh, we're going to work on some of our pitches. Uh, so yeah, I'll take a picture when I'm in there. Hi everyone, so this brings me to the end of my Instagram takeover for the Dalana's accounts. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me and tuning in as I give you a sneak peek into my life as a public health student, uh, both yesterday as a junior policy analyst, the Office of International Affairs for the Health Portfolio in Ottawa, and then today at U of T on campus, uh, taking care of some classes and meetings for the Certificate in Health Impact, um, my journalism fellowship. Uh, so thanks again for tuning in and hope everyone has a great night. Bye.